I want to look at uh, another song now. We're going to leave Sonata Form behind for a little bit here. And I want to just like look at the form of uh, a different kind of piece. Let's do a big rock song. And I'm going to do a little formal analysis using my boxes here and my colors. And I'll call things by A, B, and A. Now, remember, normally in like a rock song, we would have verse, chorus, and bridge. Those would be kind of the three main Lego pieces. And then we put things together. Um, but what I'm really looking for here is a song that has a lot of some kind of point that's a big tension buildup and then a release of it. And that doesn't always need to be a big point. It can be a really soft release where it where it's not the loudest point of the song, but it creates a big sense of relief. Um, how can I explain that better? We're going to listen to a song where it's a big rock song and it's loud and it gets very, it has a ton of energy in it. But the actual release that we're going to hear when there's a big tension moment and then a release, but the release is actually the quietest point of the song, but it still feels like it has this very strong moment of release when it happens. So um, listen for that. Listen for when it, when the release happens, doesn't need to be loud. Uh, it doesn't need to be the highest energy point. Um, so the song we're going to look at is by a band called Muse. Uh, if you're into rock stuff, you probably know Muse. They're a great band, really talented musicians in this band. Um, I am a big fan of a lot of the stuff they do. So in the next video, let's do uh, an analysis of a song of theirs, a, a, a very kind of odd song of theirs called Butterflies and Hurricanes. <laughs>